Imagine a world, millions of years ago, where lush, green forests thrived and ancient swamps bustled with life. Picture a time when the Earth was a cradle of verdant landscapes teeming with plant life unlike anything we see today. A prehistoric period brimming with ferns and giant horsetails, their fronds swaying in the wind, their roots digging deep into the fertile soil. Uh, as time marched on, these towering vegetation fell, their life cycles coming to an end. The colossal giants of the primordial era, those ancient plants that once reigned supreme over the earth, began their inevitable descent into oblivion. The natural order of life declared its unyielding rule, all that begins must also end. These once mighty life forms, their emerald hues now faded to a ghostly pallor, succumbed to the relentless passage of time. The life force that once surged through their veins ebbed away, leaving behind skeletal remains. Their structures, once robust and teeming with vitality, now became brittle and fragile, echoing the transience of life itself. Much like the fall of a monarchy, the fall of these giants was not immediate. It was a slow, gradual process, as gradual as the rusting of iron or the weathering of stone. As their strength waned, they began to lean, then to bow, and finally to fall. Their once towering forms crumbled, collapsing into the water bodies that lay beneath them. As they fell, they plunged into the murky depths, their grandeur swallowed by the silent, indifferent waters. Here, in this watery grave, they began a new phase of existence. Now submerged, the process of decay set in, hastened by the moist, oxygen-poor environment. The structures that had once held them aloft were broken down, their components disassembled by the relentless work of bacteria and fungi. Yet even in death, these ancient plants did not relinquish their hold on existence. Their remains, now a sludgy mixture of decomposing organic matter, began to accumulate on the floor of these water bodies. Layer upon layer, the remnants of these once mighty giants built up, each layer a testament to a life once lived, a reign once held. In the end, these fallen giants, once the rulers of the Earth's green carpet, lay in a form unrecognizable from their former glory. Yet, within the quiet, dark depths, a transformation was about to begin. A transformation that would see these fallen giants rise again, not as living organisms, but as a resource that would fuel the progress of an entire civilization. In the murky depths, a transformation was about to begin. Beneath layers of water and mud, these once-living organisms were entombed, hidden from the world above. A profound burial was underway, a process as old as the Earth itself. Yet it was more than just an end, it was a beginning, a transformation that would span millions of years. This process, known as sedimentation, is a complex dance of elements and time. As the once mighty vegetation succumbed to the inevitable cycle of life and death, they found themselves sinking into the wet Earth, covered in a shroud of mud and water. Layer upon layer, like the slow turning of pages in a grand geological tome, the decomposing plants were ensconced in their muddy graves. Under the weight of these countless layers, a profound pressure started to build. It was as if the earth itself was pressing down, exerting its immense weight onto the organic matter below. It's easy to imagine the water being squeezed out, the oxygen expelled, leaving behind a dense, dark substance. But it wasn't just the pressure. It was... Also the heat, deep within the earth, temperatures rise, creating a natural oven. This heat, combined with the immense pressure, created a crucible for change. The plant matter, once vibrant and full of life, was now undergoing a transformation. The cellulose and lignin, the very building blocks of these plants, started to break down. They were being reshaped, reformed, under the unyielding conditions. This was no quick change, though. It was a slow, relentless process that took millions of years, all the while, the earth continued to turn, indifferent to the transformation happening deep within its crust. Seasons changed, species evolved, continents shifted, but beneath it all, the buried secrets remained, locked away under layers of water and mud. Under this intense pressure and heat, the journey towards coal had begun. The decomposing plants, now a dense, dark substance, were on their way to becoming something entirely different. They were on their way to becoming coal a source of energy that would one day power the world. In the silent darkness, a metamorphosis was underway, a transformation so profound, it would forever alter the course of this planet's history. Deep beneath the surface, under extreme conditions of heat and pressure, the remnants of ancient plant life were undergoing a chemical revolution. This was not a change that happened overnight. 
Rather, it was a slow and steady process that spanned over millions of years. The plant matter, rich in carbon, began to decay and compact under the weight of layers upon layers of soil and rock. This first stage of transformation resulted in the formation of peat, a brown soil-like material that is the precursor to all forms of coal. As the eons passed, the pressure and heat continued to build. The peat was squeezed and compressed, driving out water and other volatile substances. The carbon content increased, and the material hardened into a dark brown substance known as lignite or brown coal. This was the next step in the transformation, but the journey was far from over. The relentless forces of nature continued to work their magic. The heat and pressure continued to rise, compacting the lignite into a harder, blacker substance. This was bituminous coal, a type of coal that is used extensively in the generation of electricity, but the transformation did not stop there. Over millions of years more, the bituminous coal was subjected to even greater heat and pressure. The carbon content increased further, and the coal became harder, shinier and more compact. This was the final stage of the transformation, resulting in the formation of anthracite, the purest form of coal. Thus, over millions of years, coal was born, waiting to be discovered. In the depths of the earth, a treasure trove of energy lay hidden, a legacy of our planet's ancient past, a legacy that would fuel the engines of human civilization and forever change the course of history. The journey of coal from plant matter to precious resource is a testament to the incredible power of nature and the inexorable passage of time. Opening. Fast forward to the era of mankind, the hidden treasure of the earth was unearthed. So how did we stumble upon this hidden gem? Well, it was a journey of discovery that began with our ancestors. They stumbled upon coal quite by accident, noticing it could burn longer and hotter than wood. This discovery was a game changer as it offered a new, more efficient source of heat, especially during those harsh winter months. But as time went on, we began to see the true potential of coal. It wasn't just a source of heat, but a force that could power the gears of industry. The Industrial Revolution, that great period of human innovation, was fueled largely by coal. Steam engines chugged along railway tracks, factories belched out smoke, all powered by this black gold. Entire cities grew around coal mines as the demand for this resource became insatiable. And as we delved deeper into the science of coal, we discovered it was more than just a fuel, it was a chemical treasure trove containing a multitude of elements. This led to the birth of the coal chemical industry, where coal was transformed into a variety of useful products, from dyes to plastics and even pharmaceuticals. But coal wasn't just shaping our industries, it was shaping our societies too. It was creating jobs, building communities, and even influencing politics. Entire regions became known for their coal production and their fortunes rose and fell with the demand for coal. Yet, despite its importance, the story of coal is one filled with paradoxes. It's a story of progress and prosperity, but also of exploitation and environmental damage. It's a tale that makes us reflect on the consequences of our actions and the price we pay for progress. But regardless of how we view coal, there's no denying its impact. From the humble hearths of our ancestors to the sprawling factories of the Industrial Revolution, coal has been a constant companion in our journey. It's a testament to the incredible journey of life on Earth, a journey that transformed ancient life forms into a resource that has shaped human civilization. Closing, the ancient buried life forms had now become the fuel that powered the modern world. Yet as we continue to exploit this ancient resource, one must wonder. The future of coal is intrinsically linked with the future of our planet. To comprehend the full picture, we must consider the environmental impact of coal mining and usage. The extraction of coal has left indelible scars on our landscapes, mountains reduced to rubble, rivers tainted with pollutants, ecosystems forever altered. Then there is the burning of coal, releasing vast amounts of carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, accelerating the pace of climate change. Our relentless reliance on fossil fuels has set in motion a chain of events that is affecting our planet in profound ways. Rising temperatures, melting ice caps, more intense and frequent extreme weather events, the evidence is all around us. As we grapple with these realities, it is clear that our relationship with coal must evolve. We must seek cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. 
As we gaze into the flames, we are left pondering, what would the world look like if we could rewind the clock back to when coal was still a thriving forest?